Zimmerman says he shot 17-year-old Martin in self-defense. Critics say he used racial profiling in his decision to shoot the unarmed teenager. Reporter Cassandra Gaskin covered one of the protests in Southern California. I went to downtown Los Angeles to cover a rally in support for Trayvon Martin. Controversy over the case continues to grow, with protesters at this event walking what they call the Million Hoodie March. People united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. Those are the sounds of protesters rallying together in the support of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. Organizers and speakers led the crowd in Pershing Square with chants, hoping for extra support in the countrywide Million Hoodie March. The unarmed 17-year-old was fatally shot by Neighborhood Watch volunteer, 28-year-old George Zimmerman, over a month ago. Zimmerman has said he was attacked by Martin and had shot the teen in self-defense. Protesters want justice for Trayvon, with some believing this case has to do with racial profiling. Los Angeles Police Commander Andrew Smith says that L.A. sheriffs are hoping for a safe and nonviolent protest. We're always hopeful, and uh, so far it started out real well. They began with a prayer. Seems like a real peaceful crowd. Um, I know many of the people that are up here, and we've, uh, we've worked with them many times in the past, so we're here to help facilitate their First Amendment rights. Pershing Square is now empty, but this is where over a 1,000 protesters came in March and supported Trayvon Martin for the Million Hoodie March. The marchers made their way to City Hall in a large sea of people through downtown L.A. Many folks came with hoods on, which is what Trayvon was wearing when he was shot. Organizer Orlando Pardo shares how he got the word out about the march. We basically just contacted a lot of our uh, allied organizations. Um, a lot of them uh, immediately endorsed this event. Uh, we spread the word by going on the trains and the metro stations and schools, passed out flyers about the event, so word got out on the street. The turnout was bigger than organizers expected. Many people carried signs saying fight for justice for Trayvon or jail for Zimmerman. Peaceful protests like this one continue to take place throughout the country. Police have not charged Zimmerman and an investigation is still underway. The decision to press charges against Zimmerman is now in the hands of Special Prosecutor Angela Corey, who says she will not bring the case before a grand jury. Under Florida law, only first-degree murder cases must be presented before a grand jury.